They got another My Way Phoenix Udair Part 4 in the jungle. 3.10 patch. Uh, runes, you know, they're the same. They're coming up. Um, don't forget to watch Part 3, 2, and 1. Uh, you can check them. They're all in the 3.10 on my YouTube. And don't forget to like the video. And G motherfucking G. Later. Alright, we back once uh, motherfucking again. I got that Udair Phoenix My Way in the jungle. Um, this is a diamond one game, but I make it look like a a bronze five game. Uh, so I'm gonna set everybody up. As you can see, we got Zach Top versus Elise. Uh, I'm going against Lee, and we got Ari and Lux mid and Twitch versus that Ezreal and then Leona and uh, Blitz and for support. So uh, let's go ahead and speed this up uh, whenever I can. Um, <clears throat> when you go against Lee Sin, what you want to do is uh, you always want to. Uh, secure your red buff, you know, depending on what Lee does, Lee might start um, uh, his blow and then go to your red because if, you know, depending, well, they did drop a ward so they know I'm here so he knows I'm starting my red and he's just going to probably do both of his buffs and try to make a play and uh, and I'm just going to go do ahead and pick up both my buffs and farm. So as you can see, I do both my buffs and I get Phoenix at level, what do you call it? Um, at level 3 instead of getting my bear because, you know, I'm not trying to make plays. Now you see Lee's in top lane. Uh, hold on, let me just take the map. Hold on, where is it at? Oh, wrong one. Alright, so now we can't see him. Now, uh, Lee Gang's top. Uh, you see how I put in turtle here? That's what you need to learn. You throw it in turtle. Phoenix, 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 turtle. Boom, boom. And you throw it back into Phoenix. And you'll hardly take any uh, damage uh, in the jungle when you start boots. And I still have two pots left over. I saw Lee Sin camp at top, so I went ahead and uh, farmed this because, you know, Lee Sin's top. Uh, I look for an opportunity to gain bot. As you can see, I cut him off. And everyone here is full HP, so it's worth a dive. He grabs Leona. Boom. I, I work on uh, Ez. Smack a couple times. So I start taking the turret. He, uh, Ezra Arcane's up to me. And as you can see, Twitch is free shot. And uh, Blitz takes uh, aggro from the turret. And there you go. It's over. Bot lane is completely fucked. Uh, Lee Sin wasted so much time top lane. Uh, now he comes back down. And if you look, he's level 3. And if you look at me... I'm where I want to be at. I'm almost level 5, so I can do two camps. If I did uh, wolves and raids, I'm pretty sure I'll be at level 5. Uh, so I go back over here. Uh, oh, I see an opportunity to gank mid. Uh, let's, 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 let's rewind this. Okay. Uh, I guess a lot of abilities were blown. I seen Ari low. And the reason why Ari is over uh, extended is because there's a big ass wave. Uh, and, and Lux has no mana. So I come around here. You see I run around the back. Boom. Slap. Boom. Flame. Dead. And now what I'm going to do here is help Lux get this, and I'm going to Obama tax this. And you see, you see that now I'm level 5, Lee Sin's level 4. If you click on Lee Sin, uh, he's about to hit level 5 because he just soaked some XP up. But uh, uh, he's nowhere on the map. I don't know where he's at. So I go ahead and smite that. It's 5 minutes and 35 seconds in, and I know my red buff's not spawning anytime soon. So what I want to do is just farm it up right now. Uh, uh, I go back. I buy uh, a mana pot, uh, Ruby, and I wait for my wolves to pop back up. Uh, I come over and do this. Now, uh, as is dead... Um, I drop a ward right there. Come right here and wait for this blue. Alright, comes over here. <laughs> Slap. Oh, that stun right there stopped uh, Ari from dying. And there you go, free kills. Now, now Twitch is coming down. Uh, Leona's right here. Uh, you know, just smack I know Leona can't kill me. I can just switch over and I pot up. Uh, my mana, I get exhausted. Ezreal's off on the side. Uh, and I got my whole team here. So right here, you see, like I said, man, when, when you play Udair jungle, you want to contest every single buff. You contest every single buff. You'll snowball the jungle. Blitz passive takes the blue buff. Uh, worth, though. Um, and after this, you know, I go ahead. I don't need a back right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to keep it in Phoenix. I know the jungle can't kill me. If it does, I'll just drop uh, W into it. And that's what happens right there. People rage quit when games get out of control. Uh, and Diamond 1, whatever, ELO. So where's KMJ? Boom. Uh, Ari gets a little aggressive, and the game is over. And another thing is about switching stances. I'm going to be making a video on this. Uh, when you play Udair and they're not focusing you, you never switch to bear after you're already in Phoenix. You always keep it in Phoenix and just flame flame and just make sure you stay ahead of them. Unless you're trying to catch somebody because they they're either fast or have some gap flows. And then you bear stance. But most of the time, whenever they're, they allow you to free shot and you have ghost and you just hit ghost, you just want to keep it in Phoenix and just flame flame flame. Because it does the most damage. So after every, well, after the first hit, it does. You know, what it's level five. I think it's 200 damage. Yeah, and every three hits, it's another. What do you call it? But let's watch the outplayness. Um, that laser beam drops a Q. Going to bush. Can't see me. No vision. Later. So here we pick up drag. 
I go back. Uh, now, this game is out of control. You know, I just went ahead and bought Aegis. I could have went, like, Sunfire Cape. Uh, I could have went Swiftness plus Home Guards. But I felt I don't have to be anywhere there. AD carry has Rage Quit. And, and we just disrespect at the highest level. Drop the fat faps. See Lee send smack a couple times. Dive them easy. See, the thing about... You know, like, like if you have blue buff and you, and you you build tanky, I'm telling you, man, when you're ahead in levels, you don't need to buy items that do damage. If you're like level seven at this point in the game, meaning you're not doing too much. You see the open lanes, you always want to farm everything and anything you can, uh, whether it's a jungle or, or lanes, and just sitting here and just soaking XP up. Look, they yeah, their AD carry is level four. He rage quit, but this is the shit you have to do, and you just sit here and pressure every single lane. When you pressure every single lane, you win games a lot easier, and you start to understand how easy games can be. Uh, by applying pressure in every single lane. Uh, you know, I'll say it a hundred times. Pressure wins games. They don't know what to do uh, when you pressure. Uh, but yeah, that's it, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. This is a nice snowball game. Uh, you saw the gank uh, bot lane. Sometimes I know a lot of you guys don't probably do this with you, Darren, especially in low elo when you gank bot lanes. You don't go to that bush and realize that diving at level one is pretty easy. Uh, and yeah. You just got to look at your map a lot more, man. You got to have that map awareness. Right now we just do. I think we do. I think we do some. Nah, I'm going for the win. So we go ahead and pick that up. And that is it. G, motherfucking G. Oh yeah, and don't forget to like the video. Or you're bad.